Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Well, sometimes running a YouTube channel can be a daunting task if you don't know what to do once you've reached a certain threshold or a certain milestone. So in this video, I'm focusing on uh, the milestone of getting paid. My name is Ivan Sngure. I'm an artist. I do videos on DIY, solving problems, and also on recycling. So, uh, what do you do when you've reached the payment threshold on AdSense and you want to withdraw that money directly to your account? There are two options. The first option is checking and the second option is wire transfer. In this video, we are going to avoid the check option because it's unreliable and we are focusing on the wire transfer. In my case, I chose the Diamond Trust Bank as my preferred way of withdrawing my money electronically. So if this is why you're here, stay tuned so that I can explain how you get paid. Okay, so guys, to begin with, we are going to log in to our AdSense account. So head on to Google and click AdSense login. And then you're going to enter your login details. And once you're there, if you've not filled in your payment methods, you'll notice right at the top, just above the Ukrainian uh, notification, you'll see that there's a notification that tells you your YouTube payments are on hold due to an AdSense issue yet to be resolved. Okay, so we'll head over to the hamburger menu on the top left side and navigate down to uh, payments. Mm, let me see. Yeah, payments. So click on payments and once it has loaded, you'll realize that uh, recently AdSense have separated uh, their, their YouTube earnings from their AdSense earnings. So as you can see, I have two accounts. The first one is AdSense, Kenya Euro, where I receive uh, earnings from my website and YouTube and Kenya and Euro, which is mainly YouTube. So the uh, account that I'm focusing on right now is just YouTube Euro, which uh, is earning me more money than the other one. So um, once you're there, again, you'll get another not notification. If you've not added your payments, a red notification telling you to receive payments, choose a payment method. So just go navigate down and go to the how to get paid. Then you click on manage payment methods. And once you're there, I've already filled in uh, my primary method, which is my only one. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you how to fill in your details by adding another payment method. See, you have two details. You have the uh, new wire transfer details and new check details. I would advise you to avoid the check details because we are not sure whether the international checks will clear in the local banks and also the safety of your check in the mail. So the quickest one is add wire transfer details. And once you're there, you realize that you have the first option, which is the beneficiary ID, which is optional. So we are going to leave that blank and then the name on your bank. Kindly make sure that the name on your bank account is the one that is officially in your account. And if you're not sure, check the name that is at the top of your bank statements. And if you don't have that, then call your bank to check which name is registered. The bank name. The bank name also is another issue. So for the bank name and Swift code, what you do is that you navigate to another tab on Google Chrome. And then the bank that I'm using is Diamond Trust Bank. So you're going to search that and write Swift code. Okay. So you'll see there is a website that is dedicated to um, a list of Swift codes from so many banks around the world called wise.com. So there you'll find your Swift code and you'll find the official bank name that you should be using. So 
just go and copy paste that copy our bank name remember you have to avoid any spelling mistakes then go back to the the wise.com and copy the the swift code remember in this one we just need eight characters so the last uh, three x's are not that important but you can leave them okay then the account number go ahead and add in your account number like so then retype your account number and then once you're done with that confirm that your local bank details are correct and then the second option is intermediary bank then they say ask your bank yeah, in this case, first ask your bank whether they need an intermediary bank for you to receive money into your account. An intermediary bank is a bank that your local bank will use to channel your money from AdSense to the intermediary to your account. So in my case, they say that I will need an intermediary and that intermediary uh, account was standard chartered bank that is the official name for the swift code i cannot remember it offered so what do we do we just go back to google and search standard chartered bank new york branch swift code and you see the swift code is right there so remember the safest way is to copy and paste so that you don't make any mistakes and once you're done with that, just confirm that every detail is okay, spelling mistakes, the numbers are okay, everything is okay. And you have the option of setting this as your primary payment method if you have many bank accounts. And once you're done with that, just click save. Okay? And once you click save, all the notifications in your account will disappear and you'll have your payment account ready to receive your money. So that's how you add your payment details in Kenya specifically. And also you can use this around the world, but tailor made it, tailor make it to your own account or to your own needs. Thank you so much guys for watching. My hope is that you learned something about withdrawing your money from your AdSense account directly to your uh, bank account. Some points to note are that your earnings on YouTube will be updated on your AdSense between the 7th and 12th day of the next month. And also AdSense releases your money automatically. If you filled in your form, uh, the bank details, it releases your money from the 21st day to the 26th day of any month. So make sure you've filled in your preferred payment option by the 21st day of each month. If you've not filled in and you've reached the threshold, what AdSense will do, they'll just carry forward your earnings to the next month. Thanks again guys for uh, stopping by to learn something about how you can withdraw your money from AdSense. If you learned something, if you loved this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and also hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any other video that I'll do in the future. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.